Ever feel like you're constantly torn between wanting to save the world and needing to hide from it? Do you find yourself nodding to memes about being an extroverted introvert or a social chameleon? Well, my friend, you are an INFJ. If you're watching this, chances are you're either an INFJ or know one of us enigmatic creatures. We're talking about that personality type that's profoundly empathetic and painfully private. You know, the ones who can read a room like a book but struggle to read their emotions sometimes. Today, we're diving into the INFJ dilemma. How to balance our need for meaningful connections with our desire for solitude and how to navigate the choppy waters of work and relationships when you're a human mood ring. Stick around and I promise you'll leave with practical tips on thriving as an INFJ without losing your mind. Or charisma. Let's get into it. Before we start, please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe so you won't miss any of our weekly deep dives into the world of personality types. And if you are looking to achieve a deeper understanding of yourself and your personality type, click the link in the comments to take our favorite free personality test. Now, let's start by understanding INFJ's personality. Before we dive into the nitty gritty, let's take a quick look at what makes an INFJ tick. INFJ stands for Introverted, Intuitive, Feeling, Judging. We're part of the Myers-Briggs Type Indicator, one of the most popular personality frameworks. Introverts get energized by time alone and reflecting on their thoughts and feelings. Our intuitive nature means we're always looking for patterns and possibilities, thinking about the future rather than focusing on the present. Feeling types like us prioritize emotions and values over logic and consistency. And finally, our judging trait means we prefer structure, order, and having a plan. But here's the thing, despite being introverts, INFJs are often drawn to social causes and helping others. We're idealists who want to improve the world, which can lead to some exciting challenges in work and relationships. The INFJ Dilemma at Work Let's talk about work. As INFJs, we're often praised for our ability to see the big picture, creativity, and dedication to the causes we believe in. But the workplace can also be a minefield for us. Here are some common challenges and tips on how to deal with them. Challenge 1. Overwhelm and Burnout INFJs tend to take on too much. We see all the problems that need fixing and all the people who need help, and we want to do it all. But this can quickly lead to overwhelm and burnout. Tip 1. Set clear boundaries. Learn to say no more often. It's okay to prioritize your own needs. Remember, you can't pour from an empty cup. Tip 2. Prioritize tasks. Only some things need to be done right away. Use the Eisenhower matrix to decide what's urgent and what can wait. Challenge 2. Dealing with office politics. INFJs often dislike office politics and drama. We prefer harmony and cooperation, but sometimes that could be more realistic. Tip 1. Stay neutral. Try to stay out of conflicts that don't directly involve you. You can still be empathetic without getting drawn into the drama. Tip 2. Speak up when necessary. If you do need to get involved, be assertive but diplomatic. Use your intuitive skills to navigate tricky situations. Tips for finding the right career. As an INFJ, you'll thrive in roles that allow you to use your creativity, empathy, and intuition. Consider careers in counseling, writing, teaching, or any field where you can positively impact. Tip 1. Look for meaningful work. Choose jobs that align with your values and allow you to make a difference. Tip 2. Seek out collaborative environments. Work in places where teamwork and harmony are prioritized. Navigating INFJ relationships. Relationships are another area where INFJs often face unique challenges. We crave deep, meaningful connections, but can find surface-level interactions draining. Here's how to navigate your relationships as an INFJ. Challenge 1. Being overly people-pleasing. INFJs are known for reading others' emotions and adapting to different social situations. 
but this can sometimes lead to people-pleasing behavior, prioritizing others' needs over ours. Tip 1. Prioritize your needs. Remember that it's okay to express your desires and boundaries. Don't be afraid to say no when you need to. Tip 2. Communicate openly. Let your friends and partners know what you need. Open communication is key to any healthy relationship. Challenge 2. Feeling overwhelmed by social interactions. INFJs often feel drained after social interactions, especially when involving large groups or small talk. Tip 1. Schedule downtime. Make sure you carve out time for yourself to recharge. It's okay to take a break from socializing. Tip 2. Choose your social interactions wisely. Be selective about the social events you attend. Focus on spending time with people who energize and inspire you. Building and maintaining close relationships. Deep relationships are crucial for INFJs, but can take time to build. Here are some tips for cultivating meaningful connections. Tip 1. Share your true self. Don't be afraid to open up about your thoughts and feelings. Authenticity is crucial in forming genuine relationships. Tip 2. Practice active listening. Use your intuitive skills to listen to others. Showing empathy and understanding can help deepen your bonds. Tip 3. Nurture your relationships. Make an effort to stay in touch with people you care about. Small gestures, like sending a quick message, can make a big difference. Managing your emotions. One of the biggest challenges for INFJs is managing our own emotions. We often pick up on other people's feelings, which can make us feel overwhelmed and confused about our emotional state. Tip 1. Practice self-awareness. Regularly check in with yourself to understand what you're feeling and why. Journaling can be a helpful tool for this. Tip 2. Create a safe space. Find a place to retreat to when you need to process your emotions. This could be a quiet room in your house or even a cozy corner in your favorite coffee shop. Tip 3. Practice mindfulness. Mindfulness techniques like meditation or deep breathing can help you stay grounded and focused on the present moment. Tip 4. Seek professional help. If you're feeling overwhelmed, seeking help from a therapist or counselor is okay. They can provide valuable support and guidance. Building resilience. Resilience is the ability to bounce back from setbacks and challenges. As an INFJ, building resilience can help you navigate the ups and downs of life more effectively. Tip 1. Focus on the positive. Try to see the good in every situation, even the difficult ones. This can help shift your perspective and make challenges seem more manageable. Tip 2. Set realistic goals. Break down big tasks into smaller, manageable steps. Celebrate each small victory to keep yourself motivated. Tip 3. Practice self-compassion. Be kind to yourself. Recognize that everyone makes mistakes and has setbacks. Don't be too hard on yourself if things don't go as planned. Finding your passion. As INFJs, we're driven by a deep desire to make a meaningful impact on the world. Finding your passion can be a great way to channel this energy. Tips for identifying your passion. Tip 1. Reflect on your interests. Think about the things that bring you joy and make you feel most alive. These can be clues to your passion. Tip 2. Engage in self-discovery. Try new things and step out of your comfort zone. You might discover a passion you never knew you had. Following your passion. Tip 1. Start small. You can wait to make significant changes overnight. Start by incorporating your passion into your daily life in small ways. Tip 2. Surround yourself with like-minded people. Connect with others who share your passion. This can provide inspiration and support. Overcoming obstacles. Tip 1. Stay focused. Don't let setbacks derail you. Stay focused on your goals and keep moving forward. Tip 2. Seek support. Feel free to ask for help when you need it. Whether it's from friends, family, or professionals, having a support system can make all the difference. Alright INFJs, now that we've uncovered these 5 game-changing secrets to navigating work and relationships, 
one more strategy could catapult your personal growth to the next level. Only a few top self-improvement gurus are using this method, and it's helping them transform their lives in ways they never thought possible. The best part? Almost no one is talking about it. In my next video, I'll explain this hidden strategy step by step so you can experience a massive shift in your personal and professional life. Whether you're looking to excel in your career, deepen your relationships, or find more balance and fulfillment as an INFJ, this video is a must watch. Want to know what this secret strategy is? Click the video on your screen now to discover how to unlock your full potential as an INFJ. Trust me, you want to get this game-changing information. See you in the following video.